hello friends and welcome back today we will see how to do the calculations when your quantities are given in complex numbers many times electrical quantities are represented in rectangular form or polar form okay we are taking an example over here so here suppose your voltage is given in polar form 230 volt at an angle 45 degrees okay so this is in polar form okay and current is given in rectangular form 5 plus j7 amperes this is your current and suppose you have to find out the value of impedance now as per formula z is equal to v upon i so what is your value 230 volt at an angle 45 degrees divided by 5 plus j7 now here you can see that your voltage is given in polar form and current is given in rectangular form okay so what you have to do basically if you are doing multiplication and division you have to keep your number in polar form always okay and if you are doing addition or subtraction then generally we use rectangular form okay so what we can do over here we will keep this voltage as it is because this is already in polar form and the current is given in rectangular form so first of all you have to convert this into polar form okay so i will write this voltage as it is so what you are getting 230 volt at an angle 45 degrees and now i have to convert this 5 plus j7 from rectangular form to polar form okay so today we will see how we can do this conversion using calculators okay so right now i am having this casio fx 991 es type of calculator okay when you are doing such type of calculations so first of all you have to select the complex mode because given current is in complex number okay so this is in rectangular form so what you can do first of all you have to select the rectangular form okay and uh, by default your calculator is in normal mode so first of all you have to select the proper mode so on number 2 you are having complex okay so select complex mode so as soon as i select complex mode here you can see that we are getting complex okay means now this calculator is configured in complex mode so now i have to enter this number and i have to convert this number into polar form okay so for that purpose what we are doing first of all we will enter this number so what is this 5 plus j7 okay so what we will do i will type this number so always you have to remember whenever you are entering any polar or rectangular number you have to use brackets okay so what i will do i will take bracket 5 plus now what you are having j7 but while entering in the calculator instead of j you have to use i okay so that i you can find over this eng button so this button you can find this i i means this j operator okay and 7 so while entering what i will do i will 5 plus j7 you are having so what i will type 5 plus so first of all i will type 7 and instead of j i will take i so i will just simply press this eng so here you can see that i i means j so complete this bracket okay and now what we have to do we have to convert this number into polar form okay so so friends what i will do i will just press is equal to button so the answer you are getting is 5 plus 7i this is just your number what you have given as input so 5 plus 7i means this 5 plus j7 now you have to convert this number into polar form so what i will do i here you can above this number 2 you can find this complex mode okay so this is in maroon color so maroon color functions are activated by shift button and red color buttons are activated by this alpha button okay so what i will do i will press shift okay and then i will press 2 so now i am getting some options over here so here you can at number 3 you can find that r at an angle theta means your answer will get converted into polar form okay so i will select option 3 so here you can see that whatever answer you are getting that is converted into r at an angle theta means it is converted into polar form okay so now i will press enter so here you can find that in root 74 
at an angle 54.46 degrees this is your answer in polar form now this is root 74 if we want this in decimal so you have to press this s d button okay so when i press this so now you can get this in root 74 means 8.60 okay so what we are getting over here 8.60 at an angle 54.46 this is the current you are getting in polar form okay now we have to divide these two quantities okay so what we can do just you enter the values okay so 230 now you have to enter the angle okay so here you can see that above this minus button we are having this angle symbol okay this angle symbol is in maroon color so you have to use shift button so i will press shift and then i will press this minus button so you are getting this ang angle symbol over here and what is your angle 45 degrees complete the bracket okay so you have entered the numerator value now enter denominator value so we have to divide so divided by okay then again use another bracket what we are getting 8.60 means 8.6 at an angle so again shift and this minus symbol 8.6 at an angle 54.46 okay complete the bracket and press is equal to button so what i am getting you over here 26.38 so write down this 26.38 right okay and then here you can find that we are having number of places after decimal point so this is your incomplete answer then after this minus you are getting and then 4.3 here you can see that arrow means your answer is in right hand side okay so press arrow and what you are getting we will write answer up to two decimal places so 4.39 and then i so instead of i i can write j okay means you are getting the answer in rectangular form so remember that by default your cal calculator will show your answer in rectangular form only even though you are giving the values in polar form okay so we can rearrange this answer so what we are getting 26.38 minus we will write j first and then 4.39 okay and this is impedance so we can write this in ohm so in this way we can calculate answer for polar form or rectangular form okay by using this fx 991 es calculator now let us take another example suppose we are having two impedances z1 is equal to 3 minus j5 ohm Z2 is 10 plus J3 ohm, and suppose these two are in parallel. So what is your total impedance? Z1 parallel to Z2. So as per formula, what you are getting? Total impedance is Z1 into Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2. Okay. Now we have written the values over here, and we have to calculate this Zt. So now we will do this calculation using calculator. Okay. So enter the values. So first of all, we will enter the values in numerator. so take brackets first of all your cal calculator should be in complex mode if it is not in complex mode just go to the mode and then select number 2 so your calculator will come into complex mode okay so first of all take bracket then 3 minus and instead of j5 we will write 5i okay so first of all we will write the digit and then we will write i i means j okay so this is your first bracket then this is multiplied by second bracket what is your second bracket 10 plus j3 so 10 plus j3 so instead of that we will write 3i okay so just press enter so what you are getting 45 minus 41i so 45 minus 41j okay so we will write in this way okay now in the denominator we have to do the addition so for addition you do not need calculator orally you can calculate this is real part so 3 and 10 are real part so add real parts so 3 plus 10 means 13 and add imaginary part so minus j5 plus j3 
means what you are getting minus j2 okay so this you are getting okay so what we will do we will enter these values in the calculator so what you are getting take bracket 45 minus 41 then your i okay this is divided by now use divide division sign and what is your denominator 13 minus j2 so 13 minus 2i okay and just press enter so what you are getting you are getting the value in numbers whole numbers okay so we will use this s we will convert this into decimal so what you are getting 3.85 okay so this is your total impedance okay now suppose i want to convert this impedance into polar form again what i will do so this is an, this is the answer you are having and i want to convert this into this is in rectangular form i want to convert this into polar form okay so how i can do that just press shift button so i will press shift button and then i will go into complex mode okay and i have to convert this number into polar form so r at an angle theta means i will select option 3 okay so your answer will get converted in this format r at an angle theta means magnitude at an angle phase difference okay so press press enter so as soon as i press enter what i am getting 4.62 at an angle and your angle is incomplete so just press this side button okay so what you are getting minus 33.59 and angle is always in degrees okay so this is the impedance in polar form and this was the impedance in rectangular form so in this way you can convert any number from polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar